Welcome back. We had a slew of numbers that came through post-market hours on Friday and let's just take a look at some of them. Karur Vaisya Bank posted a good set of Q2 earnings. The net interest margins expanded to 4.07%, which is an 18-quarter high for the bank. And this is driven by a robust loan growth and slippages which have declined to a 7-quarter low. B. Ramesh Babu, who is the MD and CEO of Karur Vaisya Bank, joins us now. Um, Mr. Babu, good morning. That's been the common thread for most banks this quarter. A very impressive loan growth and stability in asset quality. Tell us a little bit about uh, this uh, net interest margin expansion that you've seen. What is driving it at an 18-quarter high now of 4.07%? Will it get better in the second half of the year? Yeah, good morning, uh, Sonia. Good morning. So, yeah, it's a very good quarter that way. What we can say, the profit also 250 crores, which is the highest in 106 years, a quarterly profit. So the main thing, what the advantage, what we got is the cost of deposits. Cost of deposits we are able to maintain at 4.08, which is one of the lowest. And our uh, yield on advance also has improved pretty well. So that's the reason we are able to get. Another advantage, what we got is uh, the negative net slippages for the last five quarters. So that is the reason the reversal of interest has come down. Our SMA 30 plus also is one of the lowest. It's at 0.66% now. And the corporate, which used to be a pain point and a lot of reversals used to be there in the book. So now the corporate 30 plus is zero as at the end of uh, September. So all these things have supported us actually for the uh, name of 4.07. Mr. Uh, uh, Babu, you know, your uh, uh, low cost deposits, you know, current and savings deposits as a percentage has fallen slightly to 35.2% of your total deposits compared to 36.4 in the previous quarter. Clearly, it is becoming a little difficult to get people to put money in savings deposits. People are probably asking for term deposits. So would it be right in saying that uh, margins may start to plateau or fall in this or next quarter? Yeah, yeah absolutely, you are correct. The reason is a few of the deposits what we were having in savings bank also, they moved to current term deposits. Also, this is also one of the reasons and all. That is the reason we have been giving a guidance of 3.8% as name, though it is 4.07 for this quarter. So what we feel is over a period of time, it gets equated. So we may have the benefit of the uh, interest rate hike on the advances now, but with the spike what is coming up in the cost of deposits, over a period of time, it gets narrowed down. So all our working, what we are doing is with a name of 3.8%. That is the reason we are giving a guidance of 1.2 also for the ROA for the exit quarter based on a minimum of 3.8. Okay. okay. Uh, the other thing I, about your uh, asset side, SME loans have grown about nearly 15% year on year. Agri loans have grown about 17%. You know, there is talk of a rural slowdown. Everyone's talking about a K-shaped recovery. FMCG sales are not doing well. Would you worry about asset quality over there? Yeah, in fact, what we did is last two years, luckily during the COVID period, we did a lot of homework for cleaning up the portfolio. So many of the exit market accounts we have left. And that way the portfolio has become clean. Now if we say that our 30 plus is 0.66, it's an effort made for the last two years. So that way when our net NPA is 1.36%, which used to be around 5% two years back. So once we want to bring it down to below 1% also by the end of this year, so we will have some headroom, even if these sort of issues can come up also. So our recoveries will be able to manage. So the slippages, last five quarters, if you look at it, we have a negative net slippages. So this quarter also, we did not make that much of profit. Prudentially, we have made to clean up the balance sheet because it's one of the best quarters we had. And we wanted to take advantage of this quarter. So however, if you look at it, our portfolio more or less, the digital portfolio, what we have got it from 2018, all our loans, MSME, are booked to digitally. So, with so many checks and balances. Okay. If you look at these uh, stress here and all, it is less than 0.75 we are able to find that. So, which we are able to manage pretty well. Pre-digital 2018, we find some stress. But post-digital, it is relatively much, much better compared to the pre-digital. Okay. So, that's why we feel that it may not have a big issue. 
Uh, for the back. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Babuk noted a couple of numbers there. NIMS uh, should stabilize at around 3.8% and the ROA is moving to around 1.1%. That's something that the street was waiting for. And you're trading at around 0.9 times price to book. So maybe, uh, you know, it gives you some valuation comfort as well. My question to you is on the loan growth. What kind of a number should we be working with for this year? And also dwell loans as a percentage of your total loan book. I think it's moved to the mid-20s. Where do you see this number stabilizing at? And also, what kind of yield are you getting on this part of your book? Yeah, if you look at it, overall loan growth, we have given a guidance of around 15% will grow. And if you look at uh, the quarter growth year on year, if you look at it, 16%. And post write-off, it has come down to 15% that way. So coming to the jewel loan, if you look at it, for the last uh, four or five quarters, it is 25% of the book. So though initially we thought saying that it can go up to 30%, so we wanted to restrict between 25 to 30 percent. So that the two advantages: one is we will be getting a yield of 8.5 on the jewel loan, but we'll also get the benefit of priority sector. So the surplus what all is there, we'll be able to dispose of in the form of a PSLC also. So if we add it back, the yield will be better than 8.5. So that way, agriculture is also doing well for us. Not an issue. Okay. okay. We we'll leave it at that, Mr. Babu. Thank you very much for joining us with a wealth of details and have a great Sambat 2079 as well. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Vata. Thank you. Thank you. We are staying with uh, 